Hey guys, today we are going to do some quick math. Let's add some of these cards together and see what the expected value would be. Now the expected value even is surprising to me when you add the five fetch lands as well as damnation. So that is only six of the cards. We still don't know if Snapcaster is going to be in the set, although we heavily believe it will be. And we don't know if Liliana of the Veil will be in the set. So these are just six non-mythics. It does not include the commons, the uncommons, or the other rares, or any mythics. So when you add the five fetch lands together, they give you a value of around $300. 292 is the exact value. Uh, each of them averages around $59.57 a fetch land, which conveniently is the same price of, as Damnation. So you have six cards at around $60 a card as of this video. The expected value for just the fetch lands is $5.62. Now, when you add damnation in, you get a expected value of $6.20 or $6.80, which is crazy. If you have $6 in a almost $7 of value from just six of these cards and we don't know what else is in the set, yeah, we know Restoration, Angel, Domi, Gris Grizzlebrand, and that adds a few dimes to the overall math. However, having six of these cards be worth $60 a piece is insane for any set. That is, you know, it, the, the value of it, is insanity to the point that I would feel uncomfortable unless I ordered from a big store I would not feel comfortable uh, if I made a pre-order I would feel like they would cancel your pre-order uh, that's how insane the value is we might see a lot of cancellations uh, luckily I ordered from a very big store uh, my local stores are already canceling pre-orders I noticed because I tried to order and they were like, nope, we're going to not do that anymore. We're not accepting any pre-orders. In fact, we've canceled pre-orders that we previously accepted. I was like, mm, already? So it's already begun. This is something that everyone knew the start date would be. This is something that some people could expect. The You have snaps, you have possibly lilies, you have fetch lands, and you have damnation. Overall, the set Expected value of a booster pack or a booster box is insane. The only thing that we don't really know is what the print run will be. I can tell you this will be a quite a valuable box. Depending on the print run will determine the price. I've seen these boxes now go up from the 180 that you could have purchased it at all the way to a almost 300. I think it will drop back down to 250 when the hype is all said and done, but 250, 240 is where the MSRP is. Having six $60 cards just, wow, that's absolutely incredible at non mythic. I mean, that's already better than most sets at mythic. That's already better than most standard sets times four at mythic. Uh, it's just incredible what they put in this set. I expected to see maybe Fetchlands, maybe Damnation, but to see them both together as non-mythics, and we don't even know how good the mythics will be, or turn out to be the mythic slots, or the rest of the rare slots, or even the uncommons. I mean, the uncommons have a huge impact on price as well, and there are plenty of good uncommons, like even Mind Center, that is going for double-digit prices. Our Kitchen Finks is another one over $10 now. There's so much other stuff that could be in the set, but just from these six cards, you're pretty much okay with expected value from a pack. And that's insane because it's literally six non-mythics that have made up $7 out of the $10 of the value of, of a pack. And if you purchased the, the box at 180, so you were buying, let's see, packs off at 66%. So you were buying packs at $6 and 66 cents you would already be so well off right now you'd be like oh well i can just open these packs and if there's nothing else was in them except the opportunity to get a fetch line or damnation you would have made a, a positive expected value 
had you buy a box at 180, which boxes were selling for. But now if you did buy a box 180, my greatest concern would be who do you buy the box from? Normally when you buy the lowest person on the, the price chain, that person is not reliable and they will cancel the orders just to make an extra $80 or $60 from this product. So we will see what happens. I would imagine a lot of pre-orders will be canceled unless it's coming from a big store. So it should be interesting to see what happens uh, in terms of reliability uh, of delivering these boxes at the 180 point it used to be at. Anyway, six, six non-mythics at 60 bucks a piece. On average, $60 a piece. That's, mm, that's something special. Anyway, leave me a comment below. Bye, guys.